What's up, YouTube? We're back again. It's been a while since I've made a video, so I figured I would show a uh, quick video on getting these galley, gallery plugs. However you want to say it's fine, okay? So we're going to take these out and clean that oil passage uh, and then take the front plug out as well. Something that's got to be done when you're going to clean up a block. 350 small block, by the way. This is going in the Camaro build. So uh, these things here are seized in there uh, over time through, through heating and uh, heating and contraction. You know, it's so in order to get them out, sometimes you have to use a torque. So we're going to do that real quick. Uh, I'll show you how to get the front plug out, and then also uh, how to clean that up, and then convert it, customize it, and then thread that hole. So we can go back with a, a threaded nut like this instead of just a little plug that you knock in. All right, let's get started. It really doesn't take a long time, maybe 20, 30 seconds, to get that to break free. And then once you do, you're gonna have to let that cool down for a minute or that'll burn you. Uh, if you've got three push rods, all you're doing is just removing the plug, putting three push rods in there and tapping it uh, until the plug comes out of the front. So let me get set up for that and I'll be right back with you. Okay, so again, if you've got three push rods or something similar, you just run these down the oil gallery and I feel resistance in there already. So that tells me there's a lot of junk residue built up in there, oil sludge. But all you're doing is putting those in there and tapping this. Until that little plug comes out. That's all you're after. So once you get the plug out, that frees up these holes to be able to clean these up. Um, when you final wash your block, you wanna make sure you're running brushes in there and cleaning these up real well. Uh, let me get set up with the tap and then we'll I'll show you how I'm going to customize this. Uh, instead of going back with these little plugs, we'll, we'll put a threaded nut in there, just like uh, that was in the back. And this is what you're after. This is a uh, quarter inch uh, national pipe taper, I guess is MPT, but this is the tap that you want to use. Uh, when you tap this, you're you're only running that in there uh, maybe maybe halfway, quarter inch, a halfway mark uh, because you don't want to damage uh, anything beyond what this is fitted for. So when you do this, you just want to put some uh, oil, cutting oil or, or PB blaster, some type of oil uh, on there to give you a, a nice cut with that. which I just had it, here it is. Okay, so again, very carefully, you are just running this tap in there and trying to get it as square as possible as you start. Sometimes it can be a little tricky getting this started. You just want to make sure you keep it straight as possible when you're cutting your threads. And if you're unsure of how far you want to take it, just take it back out and look at your threads and make sure you haven't gone further than you want to go.
and that's about it. You're just going to repeat that on the other holes there, and then when you go to final wash your block, you're going to run your brush through here really well. Make sure you blow that out, clean it out, uh, and you've got a customized uh, oil gallery to where you don't have to use your plugs anymore. You can go back to the to the threaded style on the front. Uh, and if you buy a rebuild kit, you'll have these plugs uh, that are going to come in that kit. So that's basically it. And I would just use a thread chaser when you go to clean these up. And then that's one step you can save yourself with these plugs and, and worrying about getting them set in there properly. All right. I hope you enjoyed it. If it was helpful, uh, like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, you know, this is the first time I'm doing this as well. So if you're this is your first time building an engine or something like that, don't be afraid to get out there and try it. And uh, it's the only way you learn, you know. And if you make mistakes, then that's great. That's how you learn stuff. All right. We'll see you on the next one. Uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about real quick is this this center hole here has an oil uh, feed hole in the center. Uh, you're probably not going to be able to see that, but you just want to make sure you don't cut your threads back too far uh, when you're cutting your threads for your plug. And you can measure it if you need to, but I can eyeball this plug and just know that it is not going to go uh, back further than it should and block off that hole. If you do that, you're going to destroy your engine. So keep that in mind. There's the oil hole right there, oil feed hole in your bearing, and it's fed from the oil hole in the top. Uh, and if I had better lighting, you'd be able to see it. Uh, but if you shine a light in there, you can see there is a, a hole in there to feed oil to the bearing. Uh, so you want to make sure you're not blocking that off uh, when you put your plug in there. All right. Uh, we'll see you on the next one.